Alright well, guys, how's it going? Will here from ZaltechReviews.com um, Today I'm taking a look at the Oliver Green Arbor uh, It's a chronograph, it's more like a dress chronograph That was the reason that I agreed to having a look at it uh, If it was just your normal, you know, quite small dress watch I wouldn't have bothered. It's obviously it's a quartz watch, uh, and it does kind of lean on the fashion brand kind of things. And normally I would say no, but because it's a chronograph, and it does give it a wee bit of a sporty aesthetic, I thought, yeah, sure, I'll have a look at it. Quick disclaimer: this video is sponsored by Oliver Green. They sent this watch out, and I don't have to return it. Another disclaimer is the strap that you're looking at right now is my own strap. However, it's really close to the um, supplied strap that you get with it anyway. So, but I'll go into that later on in the review. Uh, I've also got uh, an exclusive discount for you if you fancy this. I'll explain that later in the, uh, the review. Okay, play the intro. <laughs> Right guys, the Oliver Green Arbor Chronograph, as I say, it leans on, it's like a dress chronograph, as I mentioned. The price of this is uh, US dollars or £135. However, if you use my code ZALTEC Reviews, you'll get a 15% discount. It's available in two sizes. Uh, 41 mil, is it 41? Aye, 41 mil or 36 mil. I opted for the 36 mil because there's no rotating bezel on this, obviously. So it's pretty much all dial. So the smaller 36 will wear. It wears more like a 38, in my opinion. I didn't bother with the 41 because I think that would look massive. I think that would wear more like a 43, 42, maybe. Uh, Aye, so there we go. Uh, what, what else? Aye, so this is the 36 mil. I'll give you the, the dimensions that I took with my own calipers. Uh, the diameter I measured in at 36.1 mil. The thickness is 10.4. The lug to lug is 44.2. And it ha on the 36 mil version, it has a lug width of 18 mil. The bigger one, the 41 mil has a 20 mil lug width. I don't know what the rest of the sizes are for the 41. I don't know what the lug to lug is or anything because obviously I don't have it here. I was much more happy with getting the wee 36 mil, uh, 36 mil version in. And I'm glad I did because as I say, it wears like a 38. Um, I put it the price, blah, blah, blah. Right, the movement that's inside it. On the 41 mil version, you have a Miyota 6S21 00Z on this version it's slightly different it's a Miyota 0S21 10A 3 year battery life obviously that depends on how much you use the chronograph function um, the case itself is fully polished 316L stainless steel on the dial let me see I'll get you, show you a better on the dial itself, right? It's all printed and you've obviously got all of our green there above the date 6 and you've got the model name Arbor and you have obviously a date complication at 6 and it's been very well executed. See if I can see that chamfered edge all the way around the date window. Looks nice. Very well executed. I like that. You'll see there at the bottom there, what does that say? Designed in Copenhagen, I'm guessing. I'm struggling to see that with my eyes. But that's where the brand is based, Copenhagen. Yeah, and you've got silver hands, obviously. They're fully polished, there's no luminous. I didn't expect it, because it's, as I say, it's more of a dressy chronograph. Everything about it, as I said, the fixed bezel, the mid case, case back. 
it's all three one six L stainless steel. The case back is like a push on, so obviously you can easily remove it. Come the time that you need to replace the battery, it's got a really nice design on the case back as well. Uh, loads of various specs around the edge, and you've got the Oliver Green logo there in the middle, and you've got this other design going around the edges. Uh, it's a push pull crown, obviously, but it is signed, which is good. The sub dials that are on uh, the dial, the main dial, is you've got a 24 hour indicator at 3 and you've got um, a 60 minute timer at 9. And obviously, you have, I'll just start that function. It's obviously, it's fully quartz, it's not mecha quartz, so that chrono hand does tick as a as you think it would. It actually hits the markers pretty well actually when it's ticking around there. I'll just try to look off camera and see. Ah, it does hit the markers pretty well. I don't... In fact, it's hitting the markers bang on. That's good. Uh, stop that there and to reset it, push the other one. And it's uh, also sweeps back around to the reset position at 12. As I say, no loom or anything, and that's basically your dial. You have various, um, what is it, four different colour choices for the dial. You've got this one, which is white, obviously. You've got a champagne dial, which looks pretty sexy. You've got a blue dial and the green dial. I'm quite surprised I've never done a black dial, but I prefer the white anyway. Uh, when you're ordering the watch, which is actually quite nice, you can actually... As I mentioned earlier, you can have it in 36 mil or 41 mil, and you can choose a uh, male or female strap lengths. Oh, that reminds me. I better show you the strap. This strap that I've got, it's the only 18 mil strap that I own, and it's from Barton. It's a leather, quick release pins, and all the rest of the stuff. Top grain leather. I love this strap because it's extremely comfortable, and I was just dying on something to come in that I could actually put it on because the majority of watches I get are either 20 or 22 mil lay lug wood uh, I'll just move that a wee bit up and this is, I'll show you the strap that it came with which is pretty much the same as what I've put on it the one I've put on it, they call it um, chestnut leather and to be honest with you, the one that it comes with the only difference being is it has a taper to the strap. It goes from 18 all the way down to just under 16, I think it is. Whereas the Barton doesn't have a taper. And I prefer the Barton, to be honest with you. It just feels more comfortable on wrist. This just gets too thin, in my opinion. The standard strap. It, it makes it feel a bit more feminine, if you know what I mean. Because you have got... Remember, the lug width on the 36mm version, it's 18mm, um, so when you're tapering that even further, it just it's too thin in my opinion. I like the button, as I say, because it's full 18mm from the lugs right down to the edge of the strap itself. You also get, uh, when you're choosing the watch itself, you obviously get the choice, uh, the dial colour. You also get a quite a varied range of straps and that as well uh, there's, I'll put pictures up I think I've got most of the pictures but basically you've got a choice of colours in leather and NATO or you also have the option of a mesh bracelet and it's the same price across the board doesn't matter what one you pick it doesn't bump the price up or anything like that surprisingly I'll just get this, I showed you that anyway so it's signed as well by the way with the wee Oliver Green logo um, what was I going to say? Aye, oh, surprisingly, it has sapphire crystal as well, which is, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting, you know, cheap mineral or something, but sapphire crystal with an uh, underside AR coating, so it's all good. I like that. Uh, on the side of the watch, obviously, you've got your main crown there. What's that? Just a wee mark, but it's it's no scratch or anything. It's because of this just came in actually. Uh, two pushers, obviously, 
start and stop, reset, and that's basically it. And your main crown is to set the time, change the date, and whatever. The weight of this watch on the supply strap, uh, I put it on the my wee scales, and it came in at 50.2 grams, pretty light. So, I mean, I, I wore this yesterday, and I had it on all day, and it was super comfortable. And even on the standard strap, um, the, the standard leather strap that I picked, uh, the watch is really comfortable as well. And it's not overly long either. But as I say, I was just itching to get a watch in that, so I could put this button strap on. And I, I've been wearing it all day and I got started to break in where I have it. I'll show you a wrist shot anyway, um, shortly. Uh, what else? I uh, where to buy? These are available now. There's no wait period. You just go ahead to the website, buy it, and it'll be shipped out. Uh, it took what was it? Two days. I uh, two days uh, to go from Denmark to to me in the UK. So fast shipping, and the shipping's free, by the way. Warranty wise, you've also got a two year warranty. It's a fully international warranty. Two years, that's pretty good, I like that. Uh, and that's basically it. Uh, oh aye, when you go to the website, remember and use the code ZALTEC Reviews and you'll get 15% off. So, if you're working in, I don't know what it is in dollars, but it's basically $179, take 15% off of that. Uh, I did work out the UK price, it's normally 135 you take 15% off and you're looking about £115 delivered, which is a good deal, I mean, considering you're getting sapphire crystal, okay, it's a quartz movement, but I would recommend the 36mm, it's, um, it's, it's nice, it's, it is nice, and it surprised me because it's, this isn't a kind of watch that I would normally uh, look at but I like it I do like it and I would recommend it and I was, as I say I was surprised at the sapphire crystal and that. I think it looks best on a leather strap I wouldn't bother with like a NATO I don't think a NATO is right for this style of watch a mesh bracelet I'm normally a, a bracelet guy but the mesh bracelets nah it just makes the watch too blingy and so I suppose if you wanted to take it further into the dress category, you could might go for that. But no, for me, I like this strap, and the standard strap that it came on is nice as well. I just didn't like the taper on it, that's why I put this on. Uh, that's basically it, guys. I'll give you a quick. Oh, first up, wrist check. Oh, it's a bit close, but I can't be arsed adjusting the camera. I'm wearing my Zelos Mako Titanium and Storm Grey. Love that watch. That's me perfect too. Uh, right, let me take that off and I'll put the Oliver Green on. Right, sorry about that. Right, here you go. On my wrist, 36mm. Fits my wrist perfect, obviously. And it sits on the wrist perfectly, nice and thin. No bulging case back or anything like that. Fits my wrist perfect, put it that way. The 41mm version would just look like a dinner plate in my wrist, to be honest with you. But it's nice, nice clean dial. Date at 6. That, that ticks my box, because I'm always banging on about a date at 6, and I've done it right. I've no put some cheesy uh, metal frame around the, the date window or anything. Looks better, like, how the way they've done it. Nice, clean, crisp dial, I would say. Especially this white version. Anyway, that's basically it for today. Oh, I never showed you the packaging. All of our green. Uh, hang on. Let me zoom out a wee bit. Right. I don't think there's much in here. Oh, hi, there is. It's all padded and whatnot. The watch head comes in this wee pouch, and obviously, the strap in that. And you've got the manual in this wee one. And it's all rather nice. Nice big 
uh, home on the, the back and on the bottom. Just thought I'd show you that before I head off. Uh, kind of give you a loom shot or anything like that, because there isn't any. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, remember and use my uh, discount code so you'll get your 15% off. Uh, Zaltep reviews. All one word. Uh, aye, that's it. Right, thanks for watching. Um, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Toodles.